it's time for another amazing chemistry video with Mr. Stapleton. Probably sponsored by Farming Unit Nice Coffee. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this video which is going to be um, all about just silicates and calculating the charge um, and being able to determine uh, what happens uh, when you have aluminosilicates and um, being able to determine the charge on your silicate anions as well. So that's what I'm going to be starting with. So here firstly what I've got is a question that's just determine the charge on the silicate anion in Be3Al2SI6O18. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we, we're just trying to determine the silicate anion. So we're just looking at Si6O18, and we're trying to determine the charge on that one. Okay, all you've got to do is every time um, you're trying to calculate this charge, you've got to remember that every silicon has a plus 4 charge, and oxygen has a minus 2 charge. So what you're doing is just trying to um, balance out your silicons and oxygens and work out what the overall charge is going to be. So if you've got six silicons and you've got a plus four charge on them, overall that's going to equal a charge of plus 24. If you've got 18 oxygens and they have a charge of negative two, you're going to end all up with a charge of negative 36. When you calculate the difference between these two, all right, 24 take 36, you're going to end up with a difference of minus 12. All right, so the silicate Si6O18, all right, has a 12 minus charge on it, and that's the answer to your question. All right, so calculating the charges on these silicates is pretty straightforward. All right, you just always use all right um, the negative two for oxygen and the plus four for your silicons. All right, and make sure you can determine the charge. So I'll show you another one. All right, determine the charge on the silicate anion in Sc2Si2O7. All right, so this time what we're looking at is Si2. O7, all right, so the silicons there are plus four, the oxygens are minus two, all right, so what you do is you do two silicons, each of them with a plus four charge equals plus eight overall. You've got seven oxygens with a negative two charge, so overall that's negative 14. Eight minus 14 is negative six, so our Si2O7 has a six minus charge on it. All right, again, just always using plus four for your silicon, minus two for your oxygens, multiply it by the number you have over here, okay, and determine your total charge, and that's what goes down over here for your silicate anion. So that's pretty straightforward, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start using that, all right, combined um, with these metals. So up here, this one's combined with scand scandium, all right, to be able to determine the ratio of metal atoms we've got in there. So I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, here we've got a um, formula Ca2MgX SiO35, okay? And it's asking us to determine what the value for X is, okay? So first thing you do is you go through and you calculate your silicate charge again, because you need to know that. So we've got SiO3, okay? So there's one silicon, which is plus four, all right? There's three oxygens, all right, which are minus two. Plus four, that's going to be minus six, all right, gives us a negative two charge, okay? So what we've got is Ca2MgX, all right, SiO3, um, five, I should say. Let me just undo uh, that one, all right, five, okay? So what we look at here is that our calciums here have a charge of plus two, all right, that's just from the periodic table, they're in um, group two, so we've got a charge of plus two. Our silicates up here, we worked out have a charge of minus two. All right, and so then we work out what they add up to. All right, so there are two calciums, all right, at a plus two charge, so overall that gives us a plus four. There are five silicates at a minus two charge, so overall that gives us minus 10. Okay. So what we've got is our calcium's at plus four, all right, our silicates equal minus 10, so we need to balance this out in total. So in the middle here, we need plus six, all right? Plus four plus six gives us plus 10, that cancels out our minus 10. So that means that this plus six here, all right, our magnesium's must equal up to plus six. So we know that every magnesium, all right, has a two plus charge, all right? And we wanna work out what do we multiply that by to get to plus six, well, obviously the answer is three, all right? So our uh, we must have three magnesiums, all right? Which is what our X value is. So the formula up here would be Ca2Mg, 
SiO3, 5. All right, let me show you another one. Okay, here we've got determine the value for x in Na3MgX Si4, O11, 4, OH3. So we're bringing a little bit extra in. All right, so what we're going to look at is just firstly this silicate up here, Si4, O11. Okay, we've got four silicates at plus four. All right, which is plus 16. We've got 11 oxygens, which is minus 2, so that gives us minus 22. Plus 16, minus 22 gives us a minus 6 charge. So these silicates up here are minus 6. All right, hydroxides up here, if you just remember, a hydroxide OH group has a minus 1 charge. All right, and sodiums have a plus 1 charge. So if we start to add all these up together, We've got three oxygens, at, uh, sorry, three sodiums at plus one. Okay, so that equals plus three total. We've got four silicates at minus six. Okay, so that gives us minus 24 in total. And we've got three hydroxides at minus one. So three hydroxides at minus one gives us a minus three overall. Okay, so obviously what needs to be in the middle here is plus 24. Three plus 24, minus 24, minus 3 will cancel out to zero. So the plus 24 here must be what our magnesiums are equal up to. All right, each magnesium has a two plus charge. So two plus times X equals 24. All right, two times 12, all right, is our value there, equals 24. So the value for X in this one is 12. All right, so you're just using your values for your normal metals that you know. So look at the group numbers. Sodium is in group one, okay, so it has a one plus charge. Back in the previous one, calcium was in group two, so it had a two plus charge. Um, you use that along with the values for your silicates, and if you quite often have hydroxides, they're minus one. You determine the overall charge for them, okay, and then you work out what's missing and work out what your ratio must be for your metal atoms. Um, go back and have a look at those two if you found it a little bit confusing. All right. What I'm going to look at finally is what happens if we put an aluminium in there. So these are aluminosilicates. All right. So in here we have AlSiO7, and it's just asking us to determine the charge on the aluminosilicate anion. All right. So we've got an aluminium. Every aluminium has a three plus. We've got a silicon, which is a four plus. All right. And we've got oxygen, which is two minus. We've got one silicon, so that's a plus three. Oh, sorry, that's one aluminium, which is a plus three. We've got one silicon, which is a plus four. And we've got up here seven oxygens. So that's times seven. So that equals minus 14. So when you add all of these up, all right, plus three plus four is plus seven. Minus 14 is minus seven. So overall, our aluminosilicate is ALSIO7 with a seven minus charge on it. Okay, and if you actually have a look, um, it's pretty straightforward to look at the aluminiums because each aluminium just has one less positive charge, all right, than a silicon. All right, so if you, if you work out your silicates and put an aluminium in, every aluminium you put in just decreases the charge by one. That's the reason we sometimes put aluminosilicates in. Increasing that negative charge means we can more readily attract uh, metal ions in there as well. Okay, if, and this is the final thing I'm going to finish on. If you see a formula like this, which has Fe, Fe in there, it's not a mistake, all right? That's actually made up of Fe2+, which is your ferrous ions. That's the first one. They always put that first, all right? And then the second one is Fe3+. That's the one that there's four of up here. That's your ferric ions. So it's not a typo when you see that. Um, sometimes they do like to put in um, those previous calculations where you have to work out what X is for this sort of thing. All right, and you need to know that the first one's two plus, the second one's three plus if they put them both in. All right, hopefully this has been reasonably straightforward. Um, if you struggle with us, just go back and have a look again. Um, maybe try and um, just write out some formulas for silicates. All right, just do a random one and um, see if you can work out the charge on it. Okay, just doing your plus fours and minus twos and then see if you can work out a formula for it for, with, with some metal ions or something like that. Uh, there are some examples in some of the textbooks and stuff like that as well. Have a go. If there's any questions, just ask me. All right. Thanks, guys.